Order! Order! You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! Now I'm absolutely delighted to be joined by the leader of the Greens, Caroline Thank Lucas, you. who I think has been slightly better behaved than uh, Boris Johnson. I don't think you oh, have I been rustling through my <laughs> <laughs> memoir over here. Anyway, um, anyway, great to see you. Thank you. Um, I really wanted to start with this issue. You don't call it the Progressive Alliance, do you? But uh, I think, you, for some reason or other, you don't like the word progressive. But No, it's not that. It's, it's, it's more we want it to be plural. <laughs> it's right. not one big alliance. It's about local parties coming together in a handful of constituencies where there might be a possibility of some agreement about standing one candidate against a Tory in order to ensure we get as many MPs going back to the next parliament who will fight for electoral reform and basically try to hold back what looks otherwise like a very large Tory landslide. But, I mean, the, the, some Greens say to me that they're worried that you are, in a sense, self-harming because you are giving up the opportunity to fight in many, many more seats. So I think you've stood, already stood down in about 60 seats. It's not that and, many, but... Well, but, how many is know, it? I think it's about 30. All right, but, but even so, the Lib Dems yeah. have given, yeah. given away in, what, two? Yeah. So it looks very unfair. It does look very unfair, and I can assure you that we're very frustrated about it. Because up and down the country, when I've been speaking about this, there is huge grassroots interest and enthusiasm for it for, from all parties, uh, Labour, Lib Dems and Greens, and indeed people from, from no parties. So they want progressive parties, parties of the left and the centre-left, to get their act together. Otherwise, on June the 9th, we know how this story ends, because the electoral system that we have will give even more seats to the Tories. They will end up with this, this landslide if we're not very, very careful. And we need as strong and as robust an opposition as we can get, and that's what this was about. But do you know what? Nominations have closed now, so now we are focused on what the Greens stand for, and what I would love to talk to you today about, which I hope we can come to, is the environment, the missing issue we're, of we're the general election campaign. We're, we're Let me come to that in a minute, but Good. before we get on to that, yeah. I just, you've obviously had a chance, I assume, to read Labour's manifesto. Is there anything in there that you fundamentally disagree with? There's lots that I disagree with. Let me say, first of all, that there's lots that I recognise from the 2015 Green Party general election. So, some, so there's, election a lot that, which so makes there's a lot that excited. We, there's a lot that makes me excited. But if I can point to some things that make me less excited, first of all, on Brexit, I think Labour have got this wrong. Um, I think that basically they have not only given a blank cheque to the Tories on a hard Brexit, they have helped them go to the bank and cash it in. But can I just ask you on that, though, Karen? I mean, when I talk to voters, quite a lot of people who voted Remain are just fed up with the number of votes they're having. And, you know, the, 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 I know you care passionately that people should be given a, a second chance to, you know, vote to stay in, but actually that's not what I'm it's hearing not, from people. It's, that... not, it's not a second chance in the sense of saying let's rerun the 23rd of June, it's saying this decision is going to be the most important of our generation. At the moment, under pressure, the Prime Minister has conceded that it will be Parliament that will sign this off after 18 months, two mm. years' time. We're simply saying that we think it should go back to the British people. If you were getting a phone contract, you would have more chances to look at the small print and take something back that you don't like than you can with this. And let, let's let's move on to the so... environment because I know that one of the things I think you're going to be offering is a, in your manifesto, is you, what you'd like to see, I think, is an Environmental Protection Act. Is that, exactly what, you're, so. is that what you're calling it? Yes. And this would enshrine, I think, in British law all the environmental measures that we currently benefit, in your terms, from in, in respect of membership of the EU. But isn't it sort of pointless in the sense that the current government... Um, if it's re-elected, would enshrine all those protections in this Great Repeal Act. So you'd just well, be doubling up on that, wouldn't you? If, if only that were the case. I mean, first of all, the uh, Environment Secretary, Andrea Leadsom, has said very clearly that she thinks only about two-thirds of that environmental legislation can be brought across, so she's not planning to bring all of it across. Secondly, the crucial thing is that currently the government isn't having any idea about how they would enforce that legislation. There's no point having a whole set of zombie legislation that you can't enforce because you don't have the European Commission, you don't have the European Court of Justice. So what we're saying is there needs to be a whole legal architecture around that to make sure that we can enforce legislation to clean up our air, that we can enforce legislation to make sure our beaches remain clean. And one other thing on yeah. that, I was so shocked, frankly, that air pollution hardly even made a sentence in yeah. the Tory manifesto. 
We have an air pollution emergency. 40,000 people are dying early as a result linked to yeah. uh, associations of, of air pollution. It's costing our economy £20 billion. Pounds. I was surprised that Boris sat here and didn't it's mention that It's certainly something that is on my mind to raise the next time we see a relevant Good. Tory. Good. A relevant, so, no, a I think it's a really important issue. I, I agree with you. <laughs>